So going on everybody, my name is Sharks Master and welcome to a new video where I'll be discussing how the original Mortal Kombat came to be in this world. Now just before this video starts, I post like 6 to 5 Mortal Kombat or Injustice videos on this channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe because I'm on my way to try and get monetized and let's jump into this video. It started when Ed Boon and John Tobias was given the task by Midway Games to make a fighting game based on John Claude Van Damme. Van Damme declined and thus we got into production of Mortal Kombat. Originally it was given a lot more names, Fatality, Dragon Attack, but later it was given the name Mortal Kombat, spelled with C, which um, was given, they got that name from a pinball designer who just saw the game and was like, why don't you just call it Mortal Kombat, but that stuck apart from the thing that it was called Mortal Kombat with C which later came a K when a Midway employee uh, scribbled out C and replaced with a K as a joke and then they kept it as a, as a joke for every word that should start with a C like coins, complete, combat and like collector all that got K instead of C. Mortal Kombat was reportedly in development for 10 months around 1991 to 1992 with around 8 to 9 people working on it which is a, basically an indie development. Mortal Kombat also had something going for it that was very unique. It was called Digitizing Actors which have only been notably done with Mortal Kombat and a game called Pit Fighter which wasn't that popular due to clunky controls and bad um, captures. But with Mortal Kombat, it also had gore going on its side to um, fix itself up and change itself from Street Fighter 2, which was a huge game at the time, which Mortal Kombat had commonly been compared to at the time and competed against to be the top game. The original roster for Mortal Kombat wasn't actually an all-male cast, until Midway decided that they needed a female character. Thus, Sonya was made, which has now became a fan favourite of the group of the original Mortal Kombat cast. As I said before, Johnny Cage was based off John claude Van Damme being an actor and some of his moves being very similar to moves that you have seen in John claude Van Damme's movies such as The Nut Punch as I mentioned before which was featured in Bloodsport. Only was uh, Johnny Cage based off a real thing but characters such as Raiden were based off Big Trouble in Little China characters. Here's an image here showing what was reportedly based off Raiden, for Raiden. Um, more characters were there, I think Shang Tsung was one of them, but a lot more. But um, here's a video actually up here for Cinemasca's uh, thing where they actually mentioned um, that they apparently they got the inspirations from that, which is pretty cool. Combat was released never in Japan, which was very, it, well, not that surprising. Now think about it, as Japan is very strict on what they show to their people, but in 1992, the world was introduced to Mortal Kombat. But, it wasn't all fun for people though, because the, guess what this game made? Yes, you guessed it. The ESRB, which isn't here in Australia and New Zealand, but that's the size point. But um, yes, this game was so controversial due to its fatalities and all that, the ESRB was created. Due to this game, it was actually shown in court fatalities like Sub-Zero, Kano, uh, Scorpion was actually excused, so was Sonya and Liu Kang, but Raiden was also in that bag as well as Johnny Cage. But do you know what came next? Exactly, Mortal Monday baby! Yeah, we got the games came to home consoles, which was pretty good for people that couldn't get to the arcade machines because of the quarter hogs, which would be me. But um, <laughs> uh, we also saw the trash, which was called the Game Gear and Game Boy version of uh, Mortal Kombat. But we also saw the amazing versions of Game Boy's Mortal Kombat 2, which was also put against it later. But, on that Mortal Monday, we saw the SNES and the Genesis also get the treatment, with the SNES having better graphics, but the thing, it was nuded as hell with no blood, and um, it was very clunky. But the Genesis version, were, although censored, if you put a blood code in, you would get all the gore that you paid for. I don't really have too much to say on this topic. If we were to do another game, such as what happened like to Mortal Kombat 2, 
three and past that, I can do a history of if you guys give me some support. If you do that, all you need to do is smash a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it out, and it gives me encouragement when people like and subscribe, and leave a comment to tell me what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.